In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to the SEAL subscriptions Shopify app. So let's get right into it. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to the Shopify app store, find the app, go to this button here and click install. And then it should load up on your Shopify page and you should be able to press install again right here. And that should be installed on your store now. Once we do that, it's going to get us to sign this terms and conditions and we're going to click proceed to the app. And then we're going to go ahead and select which plan we want. Now, they all have a free trial, but there is also a completely free plan. So basically, the main thing that you will want to look out for is how many subscriptions you're going to have on your store. So if you're just starting out, then the free plan is probably fine. But have a look at all of these to see which one you want. I'm going to go ahead and select the superstar one just so I can actually um, have all the features. So now that we've gone ahead and installed it, the first thing that's going to come up is some recommendations for the shop. The first thing we want to do is click on the create your first subscription rule. And we're going to go ahead and click the create a rule. So we're going to click this button that says create rule here. And we've got two different types. We've got auto charging subscriptions or we've got recurring invoices. This one here is going to actually charge the customer. This will just send them an invoice. The top one is way better. So we're going to go ahead and call the rule subscribe and save. Delivery ever de deliver every is going to be um, basically a selector. Just leave that as blank for now. Just leave that as it is. And next we're going to go ahead and select is is it for products specifically or is it for all products? You can select which one you want. If we do all products, you're not going to be able to select which ones. So let's say we want to select a specific product. We click on the select products button. This is going to be our subscription product. Press add. And we go ahead and pick some of the options. So we've got the selling plans. The first selling plan we'll call weekly subscription. So it means that they will get it once a week. And you can go ahead and select the delivery interval, the selector. Um, it tells you when the subscription should renew. So the same day of week that it was placed. There's also some other settings here about discounts, all that kind of stuff. So we can go ahead and just press that, add that as a selling plan. Then we can add another one here and we can say one month subscription. What we can do here is change the interval to one month. And now it's going to deliver every month and we can leave the settings the same as that. Once we're happy, we can go ahead and click save. And we're going to have to go ahead now and go to this button here that says go to product pages. And this is going to allow us to turn on the app. So when you go to the store, you should see the subscription options right here. And then we want to go back and press yes, I can see it. And just say, I don't need help, I'm fine. The next thing we want to go ahead and look at is the quick checkout wizard. And essentially what this does is it allows you to automatically create links for the checkout, which allow people to just check out for a specific plan straight away. So where we can do this is number one, we can select the uh, selling plan selection mode. So we've got apply the same selling plan on all products or apply selling plan per product. So depending on your needs, you can do one or the other. We can go ahead and select the selling plan. So let's say um, the one month one. And then if there's any other stuff on here, we can go ahead and add that. And there's also some other redirections. We can redirect them to the cart instead of checkout and some other settings here. Next, we can go ahead down here and we can actually copy the link and use it. Before we can do that, we have to make sure we've selected a variant. So this is the product I'm going to select. And now our quick checkout link's ready. We can click on this and it should take us directly to checkout with the subscription in place. You can see here, it all looks good, ready to go. Now, if we go back to the left-hand side, we've got our settings tab here. And there's a lot of different options in here. We've got our general settings. So our general settings is things like um, how many times you want to retry their billing if it doesn't work the first time, how many days between trying it, what happens if it doesn't work, um, when to charge them. All of these different settings you might want to mess around with, but you can just leave them like this for now. Something to keep in mind is that you will usually be charged every time you actually try to charge your customer's card. They will usually charge you at like a 20p or 20 cent fee for just trying to charge it. So that's something you should keep in mind. You've got some other options here such as auto charging subscriptions, recurring invoice subscriptions, shipping details. 
order status page, customers, orders. Now we've got the integrations tag here, tab here. So this allows you to integrate with other um, apps such as page builders. So maybe if you're using PageFly, you'll definitely want to integrate this. We've also got our APIs here. And then lastly, we've got some advanced settings, which is basically, you know, custom code, CSS, that kind of thing. But you can mess around with these if you want to. We've also got our subscription widget settings. This allows us to customize what the subscription widget looks like. So changing things like colors. We've got our customer portal. So customers are going to have a place they can go to if they want to cancel their subscription without having to email you. And you can turn off and on different things. So you can change the quantity they can order. There's loads, you know, you can you can stop them from being able to cancel it in here if you want to. So it means they'll have to contact you to cancel it. This will mean that you have more customer support to answer to and stuff like that. But there's a lot of different settings you can you can change it. Just make sure to go ahead and actually read all of them. Again, you've got colors, um, you know, all the different colors here for different things. We can go back here. We've got a cancellation flow. So this is basically um, automatic. Um, well, when someone tries to cancel, they're going to be given these options. So they have to pick why they want to cancel. And this is good for getting insights into what how you can improve your product and your subscription. We've got inventory settings. So you can um, turn off subscriptions if your product's out of stock. You've got translations if you're doing a different language. Then we've got these notifications and emails. So basically, there's a lot of different emails that will be sent. For example, when your customer is about to be charged for their new subscription, you can turn on an email here and it will basically inform them that they're about to get charged. This is a good way to decrease chargebacks and refunds, that kind of thing. But you can go through these and click onto it and you can basically customize it here. There's tons of different settings here that you can turn on and off. So make sure to have a look at those because they'll save you a lot of hassle and they can potentially save your business if something goes wrong. We've got the installation here. We've already done that. We've got delivery profiles. So we're going to have to go ahead and create some delivery profiles. This is the same as how you do in Shopify. You set up the, the rate, how long it's going to take, the price, all of that kind of stuff in here. And that's going to allow people to actually check out. And this is useful if you want to have some custom delivery options based upon the uh, items they've ordered and that kind of thing. And that's basically how you go ahead using the Seal subscriptions app for Shopify. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to go down below and like and subscribe. Comment down below that it did help you out. And also, if you have any other videos you would like us to make, let us know and I will go and do that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.